guys, welcome to this week's video. I've literally filmed this five times now. I'm gonna share another story. So this story comes from this past summer when I went to Europe. And one of the places that we went to on the trip was Barcelona, Spain, which was honestly one of the most fun places I've ever been to. So disclaimer before I get into the story is that I'm 18, almost 19, and the legal drinking age in Europe is 18. So everything in this story is completely legal. So one night in Barcelona, me and all my friends were going to a club. And in Barcelona, the clubs are on the beach, which is like super cool. But before we went, like we all wanted to pregame. And the pregame was set for eight o'clock at this restaurant across the street from our apartment. But me and my two friends, Rosie and Courtney, just being us, wanted to pregame the pregame basically. So we went to Hard Rock Cafe with Malibu vodka that we bought and we poured it into our water bottles that we brought to this restaurant. And we ordered water and Coke and we drank our water super fast, poured our vodka into the water cup and pretended it was water and just drank it as fast as we could before the waiter came and like refilled our water because the last thing we wanted was to sober up in like three seconds. So we drank our nasty water and by 6.30 we're already drunk. Literally 6.30. I... that was just like the worst. So now that we already had our water at this restaurant, it was time to meet up with our other friends at this restaurant across from our apartment and drink sangria, which is like wine. 10 out of 10 recommend. But we get to this restaurant to meet up with our friends and the owner is like, oh, you guys can't sit with them. Like basically like Regina George. Like our friends are over there <laughs> <laughs> and we're being moved to the bar upstairs. This restaurant. We get sent to the second floor of this restaurant to sit alone. Basically like VIP Ryan. I was like, whatever, sir. It's just me, Rosie, and Courtney and we're sitting at this table drinking our own sangria pitchers. And we're basically just mixing wine with vodka and getting so drunk. It was like not the smartest idea. We all got very emotional and started talking about middle school. And we were just like drinking our drinks, crying about middle school, sharing sad stories. What a fun pregame that was. It's now like 9 o'clock. So we all leave the restaurant to go to the club. And me and my friend Caroline, Victoria, and Julia ran into this homeless man on the street who... And then we with him and now I'm not only drunk but I'm with a homeless man who I guess you can check that off my bucket list so we're getting in taxis to go to the club and me who loves uber kept calling the taxi drivers our uber the whole way to the club which was 30 minutes away calling this man an uber driver he was not an uber driver and I filmed so many videos going, I love Uber, it was a taxi. When I get intoxicated, I think I'm from like the hit Disney Channel show, Dog with a Blog, and I start telling everyone that. I got a free drink at the restaurant problem because I said I was from Dog with a Blog in America, and they didn't know what that meant, but they know I'm on Disney Channel now. So they gave You're me a free bullshit. drink. I told our Uber driver that too, and he didn't care. We're in line to get into the club, and we meet these two boys from London, and at the time I thought they were like really cute, super fun, but that was just alcohol talking. Yep. <laughs> One of the boys ended up taking me to the bar to get a drink. And I was like, oh my god, he's gay. Like, could this not get any better? Like, it's off to such a good start. And before I know it, I turn around and I'm like, oh my god, where's my guy? He's making out with my best friend. What? I started crying. I took my vodka tonic that he bought me and I was just sobbing like... <laughs> that <laughs> My friend stole my man. That man stole my friend. He was not gay, he was bisexual. Or maybe he was straight. I don't even know what he wanted. I was so upset, I'm crying, watching them hook up. <laughs> While they're hooking up, having a blast, drinking my vodka tonic, sitting on the floor, having a pity party. Our chaperone comes at like 2 a.m. and is like, okay, we should probably go. Like, it's getting late. And scary people come out at night, apparently, in Barcelona. So they're like, let's get us back to the apartment. Dramatic little me runs onto the beach from the club because it's literally on the beach. And the bisexual is just sitting there and he's wearing this like shirt that makes him look like a soccer referee. And I thought it was like cute at the time. It's not. And he's like, oh, do you still want to hook up? And I was like, yes, daddy, I do. But like on the outside, I was like, no, I was like, no, I don't want to hook up. You just hooked up with my friend. My chaperone's like pulling me like, Ryan, we need to go. We need to go. And I'm like, no. So I get in a fight with her. Literally down the beach. I am killing you. <laughs> I am grounding your ass. Stop filming this. And then I book it. I just run. I run on this beach faster than I've ever run. My mile time in middle school was like 10 minutes. And here I am out running 
this boy who's chasing me, everyone else who's chasing me. I out outrun everyone. I probably ran three miles in five minutes. I was so speedy. Next thing you know, I'm gone. I hid. No one could find me. They went to the police and were like, have you seen a little gay boy running and crying? And the officer was like, no, I can say I did not see that. And they were like, okay, let's just go to sleep. They all ditched me. I was gone on the streets of Barcelona. So I'm just like hiding, waiting for them to find me, you know, being dramatic, crying a little bit, trying to make a point. Little did I know they all just ditched me and went to sleep. So now I'm like, okay, I should probably go back to the club and find my bisexual lover. So I run all the way back to the club. Hope I lost a pound that night. I get to the club doors and they're like, oh, sorry, we can't let you back in if you've already left. And I was like, oh, my friend's just really drunk in there. I need to get her out and take her home. So they let me in, little do they know I'm like the drunk one who's like a mess. But I get in, and what am I doing? I'm telling everyone I'm from Dog with a Blog in America, and that I'm famous, and they put me straight into VIP. I don't know how that works, but I guess if you go to a club in another country, just say you're famous in the country you came from, and they believe it. <laughs> The whole night, I'm just spending it looking for my bisexual lover. I'm like searching for everyone. I'm like, where are you? Are you okay? I hope you're okay. Have you seen this bisexual soccer referee? And I never found him. But at least I have VIP, and at least I'm from Dog with a Blog in America. Moral of the story is, if you're in a foreign country, you probably shouldn't, you know, run away from your group. You probably shouldn't pregame twice in a row to go to a club, and you probably shouldn't cry over a gross referee bisexual that hooks up with your friend. Just don't drink. Sober fun is the best kind of fun, especially when you're in a club in another country. That's all I can say. If you guys liked my story of my wild night in Spain, honestly, it was one of the craziest nights of my life. I don't know how I didn't get, like, abducted. Could have been really bad. But I hope you enjoyed my story, and if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and leave a comment below if you want to hear another story, or if you can relate to this in some way. And make sure to subscribe so that you'll be notified when I post a new video. And until next week, I'll see you then! Uh...